Fire Maidens from Outer Space 1956, released in the United States as Fire Maidens of Outer Space, is an 80-minute black-and-white science fiction feature film. It was a British production, written, produced and directed by American filmmaker Cy Roth as a collaboration between Cy Roth Productions and Criterion Films, and distributed in the UK by Eros Films and in the USA by Topaz Film Co. The film stars Anthony Dexter as the lead astronaut, Susan Shaw as a «fire maiden» who befriends him, Paul Carpenter as the expedition captain, and Jacqueline Curtis as the «Fire Maiden» leader. There were 13 additional «Fire Maidens». The music score features cues excerpted from the opera Prince Igor by Alexander Borodin. Many film critics have dubbed the film the «worst movie ever made». Topic. Plot The discovery of signs of life on the 13th moon of Jupiter leads to the sending of a crew of five chain-smoking male astronauts, armed with handguns, to investigate. On the moon, they rescue Hestia, a beautiful girl, who is being attacked by a monster. They subsequently discover New Atlantis, a dying civilization, a colony of the original Atlantis. There are only 17 people left, all women save for a single middle-aged man, Prassus, the girl's father, presumably adoptive. Prassus hopes the spaceman will stay and help him destroy the monster, which is a slender, male hominid creature, around six feet tall with dark, pitted skin, impervious to bullets, and described as a man with the head of a beast. Dusa, the leader of the women, determines to hold them captive to use as mates. The monster lurks outside the city's walls, but breaks into the city and kills Prassus along with several of the women, including Dusa. It is killed by the Earthmen, and the remaining women decide to let them return to Earth. Hestia returns with them, and the astronauts promise to send spaceships back with husbands for the rest. Production The monthly film bulletin review credits Leto Carruthers as editor, and Scott McGregor as assistant director. Although McGregor is credited on screen as production and art supervisor, John Pellet receives screen credit as assistant director. The anonymous actor playing the creature wears dark, tight fitting clothing with clearly visible zippers. Carruthers' contribution to the film has not been confirmed. Release Fire Maidens from Outer Space was released in 1956. Reception and reputation In a contemporary review, the monthly film bulletin stated that, "...even the most dedicated connoisseurs of the artless are likely to find this British attempt at science fiction something of a strain on their patience." From retrospective reviews, Halliwell's Film and Video Guide describes the film as a strong contender for the title of the worst movie ever made, with diaphanously clad English gals sick striking embarrassed poses against cardboard sets." In Phil Hardy's book Science Fiction 1984, a review described the film as, "...a bottom-of-the-barrel piece of British science fiction," and that, the film's one claim to fame is its extensive use of classical music mostly Borodin as background music, a trick that Stanley Kubrick deployed with far more aplomb in 2001 A Space Odyssey. 
The DVD Talk website stated Fire Maidens from Outer Space may be among the worst ever professionally produced science fiction films. In November 1992, Fire Maidens of Outer Space was featured as an episode of movie mocking television show Mystery Science Theater 3000. Topic. See also List of films considered the worst